My dad, of course, in my opinion, was a very awesome dad. He was very funny, uh, very supportive of his children. Uh, we could do no wrong. Every day, Abby Coverley thinks about her father, Warren Pritchett, killed at age 55 while riding his bicycle. That day had been no different than any other day. He simply went out for a bike ride and unfortunately a tow truck came up behind him and hit him. He died about an hour after the accident. Devastated, her family placed a roadside memorial at the site as a way to respect and remember him. We were actually fortunate because we were able to put it on private property. It's frowned upon because they consider it to be a distraction and, and take away from the safety of those who are driving. Now loved ones come here instead, an 11,000 square foot memorial garden at the Smyrna rest stop. Dedicated in 2007, it provides a state sanctioned substitute to roadside memorials. They are illegal under Delaware law, um, but certainly we understand you know, people they have that connection with the, with the place where the person was killed. So we wanted to provide something that um, provided a safe legal alternative to remember a loved one. But some say roadside memorials serve as touching reminders to slow down, and families continue to build them despite Delaware law. We do not actively go out and remove roadside memorials. If we receive a complaint, you know, certainly we have a responsibility to look into it to see if it's a safety hazard and, and to, to do what we need to do there. You know, we understand that people just remember their loved ones in lots of different ways. You know, we prefer not for people to place roadside memorials um, and, and to participate in this beautiful garden. The garden features a pond filled with fish surrounded by native plants that attract butterflies, birds, bees, and more. Along its winding path, you'll find nearly 600 bricks provided free to families, each inscribed with the name of a person killed on Delaware roads, like Warren Pritchett. It's very serene here, very peaceful. There are times when I used to go to my father's grave, but now I live in Middletown, so this is much more convenient, and I can come here and sit and think about the good thoughts of my father's and have conversations with him. This brick's dedicated to husband and daddy Sean Ellis. He was only 25. Bricks grouped together reveal multiple casualties of the same crash. A separate section honors DUI victims. They can see how many people have lost their loved ones and hopefully it will remind them when they're out on the roads. From Del Dot's perspective, it's working. The garden has definitely been a success. We've heard nothing but positive comments uh, from the families and friends who have remembered a loved one in this way. We're not getting as many new roadside memorials as word of the garden spreads. Personally, from, from you know, driving around Delaware myself, I see less and less of them. Del Dot continues to receive new requests for bricks, with 40 more on order. This one remembers Charles Alexander, who died in 1971 at age 28. He was riding with this other family in the evening, late, late night or whatever, and a drunk driver had him head on. He and his brothers recently visited the garden for the first time. It's very nice. I think it looks excellent. Abby Coverley agrees. Her family no longer maintains a roadside memorial, choosing instead to reflect here. It also adds a sense of comfort because you see that you're not alone. You can see so many other people that have been through what you've been through, and from time to time you may run into someone that is also here reflecting, and you can be a source of comfort to each other.